all you gotta do is read the Vienna sausage. Hello, hello. Gooey morning. It's me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Frogman. <laughs> we got special events. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Vegas of crates. Mr. Crab. Dado. Parento. Garby Gravy. <laughs> Mr. Goat. Mr. Sentinel. Mr. Sentinel, were you the one that requested the Emerald game? Because I'm playing that after this. Aerith. Sumiko. <laughs> Mr. Twizzler. Darji Darji. Mr. Rich. I haven't seen you in forever. Mr. Cobalt. Nekopara. Darkest of Skew. <laughs> Yamato. Yamato Norochi Pika Chua <laughs> And Peggers up there, Miss Cat up there Ducky Ducky Pluton Mr. Pop Oh, that was not you? Who requested the emerald thingy? <laughs> Someone check the log. <laughs> Tissues and lotion. <laughs> Last of Us PS3 version. Isn't that like really bad? <laughs> Wow... Mr. Charles... Special event! Special event! Yeah, we're doing a Miss Cat thingy? Oh god, she just sent it to me? <laughs> oh, Marcello was the- okay. So yeah, we're gonna start the stream being the fanfic thing. Um... And then we'll play some Pokemon, I think. You're so sorry? What do you mean? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's great. It's content, Miss Cat. You've given me content. I just have to get it set up real quick. I have not read the first paragraph, I just read the title. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's lewd, by the way, you fucks. Oh, speaking of lewd, you guys should check my newest art on Twitter. It's the one you voted for, you know, the... The, uh... Um, <laughs> the wet shirt. Go check that on Twitter. <laughs> it is really good. Very good, very good. Um, let me see, let me see. <laughs> no, I don't- I don't normally, like, stream browser stuff, so I'm... Hope I don't accidentally show my porn tabs. I mean, my... Secret stream content. 
<laughs> yeah, my ex.com slash miaguru tab. Go there. Like my tweet. Like my tweet, you fucks. <laughs> Wow, it's miss the miss the crash or miss crash. <laughs> you liked my tweet. Can you say my name now? No. Degenerate males. <laughs> Crystal Spark. Best sound. Oh my god, Miss Cat. You even colored this title? Fancy girl. Hold on. I know you guys can't see it yet. I will show it to you in a minute. I'm gonna lower the music a bit. That's not what we're here for. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> my peeps, my peeps. Alright, hopefully this works. <laughs> okay, good. It's here. <laughs> Subscribe for more fanfic. Murachi just resubscribed for 19 months. Subscribe for more fanfic. Mr. Rich. Yeah, if people wanna if people wanna write fanfics with me in it, then maybe we can read them on stream. <sighs> oh, Mia Harem? Oh I get it. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait! Oh my god, you guys are so smart. I didn't even think about that. I don't know if I can read lewd fanfics on stream. I'm guessing it's probably fine, so I guess you can probably write those. <laughs> I think they're called, um, limes in the community of fanfics, right? Limes? Something like that. You know what I'm talking about, chat? When you write a lime, it's like, it's like a lewd fanfic or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me see her, let me see her. Okay, okay. I'm Are so excited ready? for this. Mr. Paint. Hi. Alec Grandpa. <laughs> X, can you hear me? X, can you hear me? Bro, I'm, this is a harem fanfic. I'm so excited. I hope I get to bang like all the girls. <laughs> oh man, oh man. People show themselves. <laughs> Dado, what the fuck? Is that real? Chat, is the stream okay? Is my my audio fine and everything? Stream good. Stream good. <laughs> You're the dumbest guru. No, I haven't even taken it yet. If I take it and I'm worse than all of you guys, I'm gonna be really upset actually. Stream is good. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna we're gonna start here. <laughs> so Miss Cat has titled this Mia. That's me. I'm in the fanfic and the Harmonious Empire. All right, we're starting off. Pretty good. Pretty strong cringe already. <laughs> Miss Cat, are you gonna comment on some of this stuff? Like what? 
harmonious? I mean, I get you were trying to do like a harem thing, which I do like. I do like this. Wait, can I edit this? No, okay. <laughs> if you can get over my cringe, it's okay. I always cringe. You know how I am. You post my fucking like eight year old clips and I'm like, bro, delete that shit. <laughs> All right, all right, well... Okay, so there's six pages or something? Six chapters, I guess? <laughs> Tell me if you guys have trouble seeing things. I think everything should be fine. Should I zoom in? Is the text... is the text size good? One. One. <laughs> a girl sits at a desk. <laughs> That's me! I'm sitting at a desk. She's at the desk because she's gaming. Well, I'm not gaming, Miss Cat. I'm reading. Yeah, that's right. She's- Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Why did you write this? <laughs> I'm a girl gamer. I do wear dolphin shorts. We should get art of me with dolphin shorts. Oh, hubba hubba. A wooga. A wooga. <laughs> Girl gamers. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have art with dolphin shorts? Wait, do we? We need more. I don't think I do. It's setting the tone. She's wearing cute little top. Little. Tight. Dolphin shorts. So tight. My- they- they do get tight on my thighs sometimes. Where'd my music go? Oh, okay, she's really quiet. It's rivers in the desert. R rivers in the desert. Jesus. Hey there, do you know about Twitch Prime? <laughs> Creamy white chocolate. Yo, she knows my- Oh wait, I didn't read the rest of the sentence. And her skin faintly shimmers like creamy chocolate. White chocolate. Yeah, that's right. I'm white. But I actually like white chocolate the most because, um... Well, it's just the best. Flashbang. <laughs> yeah. White chocolate's so good. Her name is Mia. She's a super cool streamer. You should follow and subscribe to her on Twitch.television. Alright, chat. You heard her. Follow and subscribe. Subscribe to me right now. Yeah, okay. Let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. So good. So good. Oh my god. This is so weird to read. I'm not... I've never read anything with me in it. It's weird, man. <laughs> hello, sun. Hello, hello, hi. Storm Gundam. Alright, well, we're, all right, I took a deep breath. <gasps> As she took her off her headphones, that was a good stream. Oh, yeah. She'd finally gotten the full 136% completion for Silk Song. Okay, you know this is not real because that game's never coming out. It's never coming out. Silk Song Copium. <laughs> Even though the Tortured Web DLC was kind of shallow as far as new content went, it was at least better than that fucking Godmaster garbage. <laughs> yes! Fuck the third DLC in Hollow Knight. It's bad. But it's still a really good game. Torture Web is a good name for DLC. Miss Cat is a very extremely old, ancient guru, so she knows all about me. As you can see. Why did they think that was a good idea? God! <laughs> my mods are already pestering her in Discord. Oh my god, this is like real life. Nekopara in my DMs! Here's your thumbnail. 
my queen. <laughs> oh my god. She wanted to relax a little. Maybe look up some art. <laughs> now hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> I am a connoisseur of the artworks, okay? <laughs> True, art is an True art is an explosion. If you know what I mean. By the way, I have to dangerously not click on my art tabs right now. I'm very, very tempted. Or, oh yeah, Mia liked the word the strange device someone in the center. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know how this is gonna work. It kind of looked like a Nintendo Switch, trademark. But it was smaller and didn't open up or anything. <laughs> Where is Neko? Where is Neko Para? Oh. Let's find no P.O. Box for now. Yeah, I want to get a P.O. Box. I said I would get one when I got partner and... I still haven't gotten one because I'm... Socially anxious and a nightmare. <laughs> Bro. It was smaller and didn't open up. Wait, the switch doesn't open up. Miss Cat, have you ever used a switch? <laughs> you wanted to see her boobs? Bruh. The message that came with it claimed that the device would be a lot a lot of fun. It wasn't signed, but for some reason the writing looked like it belonged to a trustworthy person. What was the worst that could happen? Mia pressed the power button. <laughs> Whose fanfic is this? This is Miss Cat. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. A sudden zap filled her ears. As her vision went white. Oh, that happens, you know, when I'm looking at art. Her whole body felt tingly, but not in a painful way, just a weird way. When her si eyesight returned, she found herself somewhere else. <laughs> this is an isekai? Oh. Miss the cat, I didn't know you were into isekai. Oh, shit. So, my text is red, or my... my speech is red oh my god fire emblem yo she was still holding the device but now she was standing in the middle of a big grassy field there were giant words floating in front of her fire emblem heroes wait no harmonious empire you know what actually that does kind of sound like a fire emblem title that's pretty good <laughs> When are we getting a new Fire Emblem game, by the way? Probably not until the Switch 2. There's a new Fire Emblem game? That's weird. That didn't make sense. Mia was always on top of Fire Emblem news. By the way, I'm, I'm a big Fire Emblem enjoyer. <laughs> but I didn't like Engage that much. Was this a fan game? Also, was this some kind of new virtual reality? Technology? I don't know, man. I've never been in VR. I, I always kind of want to, but it's so expensive. Mia looked around and tapped the ground with a foot, encountering a soft, but slightly spiny texture. It's definitely not the floor of her room. Yeah, my floor is not spiny. Although I do have a splinter in my foot right now. <laughs> Did this count as touching grass? <laughs> Miss Cat! Now hold on, hold on, Miss Cat. I walk every day. Every day! But I think when you wrote this, I was not walking every day. <laughs> I go outside and walk 30 minutes a day. Although I haven't done it today, because I went to shower instead. Why do you have a splinter? Ah, it hurts! I need to pull it out, but I can't, um... I didn't have time. Wishing I was the ground. Yeah, that's right. Get stepped on, bisque. 
Miss Cat, there better be some line with me saying bisque. I'm gonna be really disappointed. <laughs> Whatever. Mia looked down at the device and pressed the start button. A little chime sounded and everything faded away. She was suddenly thrust into a different scene. Thrust. <laughs> There's not a line with you saying this, because you, this was before you started saying that. Well, edit it right now. You better hurry. Go into fucking chapter four and make me say it. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. <laughs> oh my god, Lucina? Lucina? A group of a rainy night at the edge of a village, a group of soldiers were in the distance, running toward a lone woman in blue. She unsheathed the sword and wait. Lucina, oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I thought there was gonna be like my mods in here. This is actually just me and fucking Fire Emblem characters. This is six chapters long. <laughs> you like the font. Yes. Is that Lucina? Is that Lucin Lucia from the future or whatever the fuck that meme is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was totally her facing down the soldiers on her own. When they got close, she did some fancy attack and knocked down some of them immediately, and then she defeated the remaining ones with ease. That goat in the background of scene 12 is you. You're so good. <laughs> Rain Mook. Rain Mook. This is what you call a special event? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Super high knee chance here. Uh, the scene shifted and now it was sunset. At the top of a tall tower. A woman in red white hair. Oh, it's Edelgard. Oh, man. You see how she's doing, like, not engaged characters because engaged is so bad? <laughs> Edelgard is edgelord, you know? I do like Edelgard. I like her design. She's, she becomes a ram in, uh... In the later... The, okay, I, was, I wasn't gonna say a time skip, but literally spoiled on the next line. Conferring with Dorothea. <laughs> Big titties. And Mia noticed they were in their pre-time skip outfits. Edelgard. <laughs> Another scene, this time with some male characters. Ugh. Can we skip this part? I don't want to read about males. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Stinky boys. Me, I realized this was some kind of intro cutscene. It was all characters from previous games. She supposed after Fire Emblem Engaged, there was going to be people who wanted more old characters to come back. Yeah, I hated that about Fire Emblem Engaged. It was so fucking fan service cop out bullshit. <laughs> Instead of making new interesting characters, they just brought back all these random main characters from other Fire Emblem games. No, this wasn't written before I started streaming. Uh, when was this written ago? Like an, a year ago or something? Something like that. Um, was there nothing new though? Well, besides this virtual reality stuff. It was still cool to see it all close up. It's my birthday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it takes me a while to get around to things, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, it's not my birthday. My birthday's in February. Special effects look really expensive. Like, super impressive. If you hadn't seen them, you would not believe how impressive they were. Well, good thing I can see them right now. <laughs> Dang, these effects sure are nice to look at. Wow, look at that. Aliar just morphed all over those guys. Oh my god. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, you know how dated this is when she's putting morb. Oh god. <laughs> uh, 
tam 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 <laughs> Morb is not timeless. That's that that phased out after like two weeks. <laughs> anyway, after several scenes of characters, Mia knew there was one of Erika and Tan hugging before everything faded to black. Huggers. <laughs> Then a faint light shone down on Mia, making a little light spot in the darkness. Hey. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, listen. <laughs> Mia whirled around to see a fairy. She was little and floating, so probably a fairy. Long purple hair and pointed ears. She wore a little black dress. Long black gloves and long black socks. Whoa. <laughs> Socks. Mia leaned out. What the fuck? Bro, what is this? <laughs> this cat. I did not do that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Bro, this is... This is something else. All right, I I don't know if I can actually. Never mind. Remember how I said I do an NSFW one? Never mind. I don't think I can read that. <laughs> it's too cringe. <sighs> oh my god. Lean down a little to see your panties, which are also black. Well, thank you. No, there's not an NSFW one. But I was saying maybe you know you guys could write one, but no. 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 My name is Rikatanea. Rikatanea. What the fuck? R r r ha Am I saying this right, Miss Cat? You put your... This is your... This is your, um... Your, uh... <laughs> Self-insert? Apparently not caring about the blatant <laughs> invasion of privacy. <laughs> she sounded kind of bored and she had an accent Mia couldn't place. Uh, Re Rika. <laughs> Rika, Rika. Yeah, Rika is just fine. Please say your name. Okay. Mia. That's me. Mia. Welcome. <laughs> I'll be your guide as you quest for bringing peace to this once great empire. Dang, this sounds fun, but I don't have room in my room for VR stuff. I don't! My room is super tiny. Besides, I have to go to bed soon. I'm tired and... Yeah, I am tired. This is where Mia gave you a nickname, like Mr. Penis. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, she didn't feel tired at all. Well, that's that's like the first time ever in my life. <laughs> Definitely not reality. Bro, what is this song? Oh, it's SMT5. That's right. I remember this. <laughs> um, you're probably realizing that you you aren't actually tired. <laughs> Maybe I should... Hmm. That is because your consciousness has been projected directly into a copy of your body. Wow. You do not need extra room for your body. Also, this version of you has greater strength, stamina, and magical prowess. <laughs> wow. Really? Then what is my real body doing? Sleeping on the floor. God damn it. I wouldn't say that, Miss Cat. Come on. <laughs> I want to sleep on the floor. Wait, no. No, I don't. It's not very comfy. Once you're ready, I will send you on your journey. I like how... She doesn't have, um... Capitalization. Just like Miss Cat. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh my god, the grasshoppers. Speaking of grasshoppers, I had to kill one again this morning. Like, bruh, how are you, how are you getting in my house? <laughs> Mr. Penis is here. Anyway, once you are ready, I will send you on your journey. Am I supposed to fight in this game? <laughs> yes. Mia looked down at herself. She was still wearing her flimsy top and dolphin shorts. <laughs> that sounds like perfect armor. Haven't you played video games before? <laughs> Actually, I'm wearing too much for video game armor. Do I have people on my side? I am on your side. <laughs> Unconvincingly. <laughs> Rika. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we have the Naruto battle dress. God damn it, all to hell. Yes, you will also like to gain companions throughout your journey. Oh, and it looks like you have downloadable content included in with your system. Wow, DLC. One extra companion from outside the sphere of reality. Oh my god, Aerith's here. What the heck? I keep reading ahead. <laughs> Suddenly Mia is on the grassy field again, but this time there was a group of bandits only a dozen tiles away. Wow, I could see tiles now. Also, Aerith from Final Fantasy VII was there. Yo, are we gonna fuck? One tile next to her. Why is Aerith in this game? Mia asked completely justifiably. She is the downloadable content. <laughs> You're downloadable content, Aerith. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man. Wow. By the way, in case you don't know what Aerith looks like from Final Fantasy the seventh. <laughs> Everyone is here! Turned out Aerith didn't know why she was here either, but she was willing to join Mia to fight off the bandits. They were still totally outnumbered, but Mia now had a huge glowing sword that was somehow not too heavy for her, and Aerith had a rod. <laughs> Aerith had a rod! Is it a fire rod? <laughs> you me cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Mia found that she could still look at everyone's stats despite literally being on the battlefield. She was amazed to find that even though everyone was level 1, she was by far the strongest. And she had 12 moves! <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, I'm broken. Insanely busty considering she wasn't mounted or anything. <laughs> Mounted. <laughs> Miss Cat, please. Were you in a mood when you wrote this? <laughs> Goo popcorn. The bandits had some pretty generic dialogue about wanting to steal stuff or something. The Mia wasn't paying attention. Oh, that sounds about right. Mr. Alchemy. Miss Cat is always passionate. She fearlessly ran right up to them and swung her sword, which magically got longer. <laughs> Infused with energy to strike several bandits at once, an attack that felt it like it belonged to Disgaea more than Fire Emblem. Yo, I like Disgaea. We need to play Disgaea 2 on stream. <laughs> Most of the bandits she hit fell down and faded away. The remaining ones surrounded her and attacked with axes and knives. Mia dodged these attacks easily, knocking the bandits down with their counterattacks each time. This is amazing! Mia declared after the area was clear of bandits. Best game ever! Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Something hit her in the shoulder, sending a spark of pain that made her cry out. She looked to see an arrow embedded in her shoulder. 
in the distance a new group of bandits that had suddenly appeared. This is terrible. Worst game ever. Amazing. Why the fuck are there reinforcements against just me? You do have it. You do have an ally. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god, I love that shit, Miss Cat. I love that shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mia looked turned to look at Aerith who'd gotten halfway across the field. I was looking at Mia with a concerned expression. Wait, is she a green unit? <laughs> no! Not like this. <laughs> I didn't tell her to follow me. You have the ally free will in combat option turned on. Bro, why on earth? Why is that default, man? <laughs> what is this Persona 4 bullshit? Allies will act according to what they think is the best option. The fuck turned that shit off? <sighs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Rika shrugged and made a gesture and then told Mia to use the device. Mia pulled it out of her inventory, which looked like pulling it out of empty air. <laughs> okay, well, our animation budget isn't, uh, isn't the best. Typical Fire Emblem game, to be honest. <laughs> she could control Aerith with it. Oh yeah, I can control you. Oh my. Mia brought Aerith closer to use Cure, which wasn't even a Fire Emblem spell. But whatever. <laughs> the arrow magically fell out of Mia and she recovered her HP. Mia then went over to the bandit reinforcements and slaughtered them. It was pretty easy. <laughs> this is pretty good chat. This cat has done, done great so far. We're still on chapter one. You said this is going to take 45 minutes, Miss Cat. It's taken 40 minutes and we're still on chapter one. Also, when she leveled up, she actually got useful stats of uh, whatever the useful ones are. Useful ones are. <laughs> Miss Cat, it's strength and speed. Write it down. Strength, speed. It's what you need in Fire Emblem. <laughs> you stop every sentence, though. Well, yeah, of course. I gotta make com you want me to just read it constantly? I gotta make comments on all the, the information. After that, Aerith ran over and thanked Mia for the help. Mia said it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> Aerith doesn't have Oh yeah, she gets dialogue, okay. Pink! So now what? Now, now you go to your palace. My palace! <laughs> Rika planted and Mia saw a fancy structure looking looming in the distance. Mia and Aerith started to walk with Rika floating close by. Aerith started talking to Mia about herself telling a story that sounded sort of like her life in Final Fantasy VII. Only some of the details were different. At one point, she tripped on a rock and said, Shit! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. You watch your language. Oh shit, that was chapter one? That's kind of a weird ending, Miss Cat. I don't know, I don't know if I agree with this ending. No, not Mr. Crab, Miss Cat. <laughs> you don't even read books. I've read books in my time. I've probably read at least 20 books. Shit. <laughs> All right, chapter two. Chapter two, chat. Strap in. When they got to the palace, they found a couple of bored-looking guards at the door. Do I have guards? I'm rich. Not yet. They belong to someone who decided to tick the palace while you were gone. Oh. <laughs> Mia brandished her sword. The guards told her to halt, but Mia did not halt. <laughs> no halting. When she was done, they lay on the ground groaning. Mia and Aerith went inside, following a hallway that looked looked like a throne room. Oh yeah, it's time for me to be the queen. There were a few soldiers and also someone Mia recognized. Oh, it's Sheeta. 
<laughs> I know her. Yeah, she is cute. She is cute. Look at her chat. More blue haired waifus. My nose is itchy. Oh god. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Like I've heard it pronounced Sita, Sheeta. <laughs> Sheeta was the one in charge. She had taken the palace as a base of operations. Sheeta was, was skeptical of Mia's claim that the palace was actually hers, which was fair since Mia didn't even know about it until now. But Sheeta decided that Mia and Aerith could join her group and they would share the palace. I don't want to share. <laughs> Sheeta explained that she was trying to fulfill some kind of prophecy that said the one who united the harmonious empire Title drop Would be able to do anything, including return home Apparently, Sheeta wanted to go back to her own world, which wasn't this one Aerith chimed in to say she also didn't belong here the only way to go back would be to fulfill the prophecy, and which required conquering the eight surrounding fortresses, finding the sacred melodies within each one, returning here to play them together. Eight melodies, let's go! We're playing Earthbound! <laughs> I love me some Earthbound. After some dialogue that Mia half listened to, she was free- <laughs> Half listened to- And hold on, Miss Cat. sometimes I actually- No, you're right, actually. She was free to roam the palace. Quickly found another familiar face, Anna. Thankfully not a young child, like an engage. I hate that shit. Why is she a lolly and engage? Fuck engage. <laughs> Anna was apparently in charge of Sheeta's supplies. She was also selling stuff. Mia didn't ask if it was Sheeta's supplies she was selling. Damn, cutie alert. Cutie alert, chat. Lying? Look at that. Look at them legs. <laughs> Where'd you find this artwork, Miss Cat? This doesn't... I've never seen this artwork before. <laughs> I mean, it looks official, but I've never seen it. Is this from Fire Emblem Heroes, maybe? Anyway... Um, there was also some stuff Mia could do around the palace, but after she managed... To <laughs> I don't have an Anna folder, okay? I have a Fire Emblem folder, and then I have a Special Hilda folder. <laughs> after she managed to get a fancy new uniform, which just so happened to look like a uniform from Three Houses, Wow, it's like my old model. <laughs> she wanted to get back to the gameplay. <laughs> They're on the wiki. Yeah, it's probably Farm of Heroes. I've never seen it. The gameplay. Do 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 do. Oh gosh. It didn't seem to matter which of the eight fortresses they went to first. Mia randomly picked one, the one to the north. Sheeta claimed that she actually wanted to go there as well. Wow, everyone came along. As in, three people. When they got there, they found a group of soldiers guarding it. Saying they know that no one was allowed in. Sheeta said they needed the fortress and in response the soldiers drew their weapons. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> when they got there, they found a group of soldiers guarding it. Oh wait, I already read that. This cat, I already read that. Patch your, patch your thing. They were a little more impressive than the bandits Mia fought earlier. But she wasn't worried. Mia just rushed in and took out a bunch of them. Then, when nothing happened for a second, she remembered she had control, she had to control her allies. Dumbass. Wow. <laughs> she called over Sheeta, who was riding on a Pegasus. Yeah, Pegasus riders are cool, man. And Aerith who lagged behind with the unmounted generic units. 
Sags. <laughs> Sag. Aerith's got like five move. I'm here with 12 move. We left in the dust, girl. She didn't manage to get a hit in, but it was mostly Mia that did everything. As it should be. Reinforcements arrived, and among them was another familiar face. Oh, there she is! My wife! <laughs> Look at her chat, isn't she perfect? <laughs> Hilda, she's here! How do I recruit her? <laughs> True. It depends on the scenario. You either have to defeat her or talk to her, most likely. Talk? What is this, SMT? <laughs> SMT. Good game. Your wife is already in your party. Oh, uh, oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is Fire Emblem Harmonious Empire. <laughs> no, uh, Never mind. It was the enemy phase and Hilda ran around after Mia. Why are you attacking us? <laughs> Looking angry? Wait, I... No, I can't... She can't be angry at me. Your soldiers won't let us inside to get the melody thing. <laughs> Hilda hesitated. What? Mia explained why they were here. Then Aerith explained again, since Mia hasn't been paying attention to the details. <laughs> Bruh, that's not... Miss Cat! <laughs> are you... Are you trying to say something here? <laughs> Bruh... Hilda then ordered the other soldiers to surrender, which they were fine with since they were all scared of Mia's power. That's right. Be scared of me. Hilda led Mia, Aerith, and Sheeta inside the fortress. Where they found Dorothea and Marianne. Oh man. Other two waifus from from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Miss Cat, why did you get the Marianne damaged out? Oh. <laughs> Sprite. What are you saying? Poor Marianne, why is she damaged? <laughs> She's so cute. So cute. Marianne X Hilda is OTP, by the way. <laughs> Hello, Razor, I see you there. <laughs> and yeah, Dorothea, she's okay, I guess. <laughs> Hilda said that she and Dorothea were trying to protect Marianne, who had received a mysterious injury when they appeared in this world. Oh! Wait, it's actually good? Like, it's actually, like... There's, there's lore reasons? <laughs> When Mia asked why no one healed her, Dorothea explained that nothing seemed to work as if the injury belonged to another world. So Mia told Aerith to use her magic to heal Marianne. It worked perfectly. Wow, Aerith's best healer. Marianne stood up, apparently good as new. Hilda squealed happily. Yes, and then they hugged, and then they kissed, and then they fucked. Right? After they joined forces and learned the melody. Oh, after that they learned they joined the forces and learned the melody. <laughs> On the way back to the palace, Mia asked Rika if this game only reused characters from prior games. Rika said they didn't have the budget for original characters. Wow, Fire Emblem Engage <laughs> ousted. <laughs> To keep things fresh, every playthrough cycled through a random assortment of characters, which was kind of an interesting idea. I mean, I guess, kind of. Ah, I'm itchy. And back in the palace, Mia decided to work her charms on Hilda. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You wanted to see her boobs? <laughs> This is where... This is this is very, very correct. I was very grateful to Mia for telling Aerith to heal Marianne. Before she got anywhere though, Marianne... Moves, ...wandered into the room and distracted Hilda, ruining the moment. Marianne, you bisque! After that, it was time for the next mission. The next mission. 
Riz. <laughs> With a more impressive army now, Mia and company marched on to the second fortress. To the northeast. This time they arrived in the middle of an ongoing battle. Looked like some soldiers were fighting with a huge group of bandits. Sheeta immediately taking a side said they had to help the soldiers. Among the soldiers, Mia recognized Erica and Tana. Oh man. What the fuck, Miss Cat? <laughs> Miss Cat, where's my Tana? <laughs> Mr. Soup, you're here. Man. I like Erica, though. She, she has a good design. Too hot for Twitch. Wait, what if I refresh? Miss Cat, I don't know where I was. Oh, it's back. Welcome back. <laughs> There she is. Damn, dude. The white thigh highs. They're so good. <laughs> Mia rushed in to massacre the bandits. Then she gave commands to Aerith, Sheeta, Hilda, Marianne, and Dor Dorothea. After another easy fight, Erica and Tana asked unpromoted if they could join forces. Wow. That was settled, and they quickly found the second melody. Miss Cat, you're, you're speeding up through here. I, I see. Back at the palace, Mia made some music with Hilda. Oh. On the flute. <laughs> Hilda was trying to play the flute and failing. Turned out she had never successfully learned to play an instrument, despite being raised as a noble. She thrust the flu- She thrust the flute. Um... She had been using it in Mia's hands. Mia actually sort of knew how to play the flute. So she tried the first couple of melodies. Which made the whole palace vibrate for a, a little for some reason. <laughs> Yo, we vibin', we vibin'. I do know how to play the flute a little bit. I mean, I played it in high school, but it's been a long time, so I don't really remember. <laughs> Sheeta came in to ask what the heck is going on, followed by Dorothea, who started offering music advice. The third fortress was the one to the east, where they arrived as a, as a conflict with brewing, or was brewing. Two forces are faced off against each other, and front of the fortress, one led by Kagudo, the other by Charlotte. Oh my god, Charlotte's outfit is bonkers. They all turned to fight Mia when she arrived, so she smacked them around until they both surrendered. Bro, look at this shit. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Damn! They're bigger than I remember. <laughs> oh my god. You guys also get taught to play the flute at 10 years old. Uh, we were taught to play the recorder, which is not the flute, in elementary school. And Kagano, you know, she's always famous for having giant titties. What's the recorder? You don't know what a recorder is? It's similar to a flute. But it's like a lot more simple. Explain why they were fighting, but Mia didn't really care. <laughs> she made them join her and then memorize the third melody. Chapter 3. Oh my god. Back at the palace, Mia and Hilda had a deep conversation about food they liked. Chicken nuggets? Does Hilda like chicken nuggets? They had a moment. Where they stared at each other and slowly moved their faces close together. Oh my god. What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? What did we attack before this chapter? We attacked fortresses, Mr. Goat, to get what the melodies. Eight melodies, earthbound, a bunch of girls. <laughs> That's what's going on right now. 
Then Anna suddenly barged in and saying she saw Erica and Tana making out. Whoa, what the fuck? Let's go. Girls bound. She then stared at Mia and Hilda, who stared back in stunned silence. After a quiet moment, Anna slowly closed the door and quickly ran off. Did we fuck? <laughs> the fourth fortress was to the southeast, and this time there was no one outside it. The doors were all blocked off by piles of rubble and surrounded the fortress. Mia's army had to dig their way through. Oh man. Digging. And by Mia's army, they mean I commanded my my dudes to, to, to dig for me. I ain't digging shit. Once inside, they found Fur and Sophia. Sophia. <laughs> they suddenly appeared inside the fortress. Couldn't get out. They were very glad to be free, immediately joining Mia's forces. Miss Cat, did I give you a list of Fire Emblem girls I liked? I don't remember. This sounds familiar, though. <laughs> Manual labor is not VTuber friendly. You're right. Why are they injured? <laughs> Damn. Damn, girl. Damn. Purple, purple. Purple alert. With that settled, they found the fourth melody. Oh my god, we're already four melodies deep. Mia wanted to continue from where they left off last time, and Hilda seemed interested too. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually happening. They were both shy about it at first. After awkwardly sitting together for a few minutes, Mia worked up the courage to turn and kiss Hilda. <gasps> oh yeah. We're kissing. <laughs> <sighs> Managing to bump into Hilda, she tried to do the same thing. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> they laughed a little, then suddenly they were kissing. Hilda was wearing- Oh my god, Miss Cat. Wait, how- How far is this gonna go? Pogger? <laughs> oh, cringe. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Subtle lip gloss that tasted sweet. A few minutes later, they separated. Poggers. <laughs> uh, poggers? Uh, the foreign love word. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. This is getting... This is getting real strong now, Miss Cat. Oh, should I say it too? <laughs> Please don't. Please. You want to confirm or deny that you say it in bed? Yeah. I say it in bed all the time. Vanderblast is here. They both heard a shushing sound from outside the door. Mia grimaced and got up, up to open it, finding Charlotte and Anna outside, looking like guilty eavesdroppers. The fifth fortress, anyway. By the way, there's like this fortress thing. Was to the south, and there was a small force of mast around the entrance. Mia could see Ishtar. Whoa, Ishtar. Apparently arguing with the door. Damn. Damn, girl. Oh my god, her hero's art is so good. I love this cape. Don't know wall. <laughs> Remember when Aerith was like part of the story like two chapters ago? And they got out. When they got closer, it turned out Ishtar wanted to go inside, but someone was keeping her out. The voice on the other side was saying that Ishtar was evil and couldn't be trusted. But Ishtar was insisting that she had realized the error of her ways. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Move past everyone to just break the door down. Damn, I'm so strong. 
What is my strength right now? Like, at least 35? Inside she found Lachesis. Oh my god, just fire him on four waifus. She... Uh, looking ready to fight. She hesitated when she saw Mia, who said she was recruiting both Ishtar and Lachesis peacefully. Neither were keen on the idea of Aerith. Oh, Aerith's still in the story! And the other is vouched for Mia's character. Not her power. <laughs> you benched her. <laughs> well, you can only carry like like eight carriages. Damn, she's cute in her hero's art, man. Maybe I should play Fire Emblem Heroes. Just for the art. <laughs> One good thing about Fire Emblem Heroes is they, they gave us art of these like old ass characters. I'm going to the dark side, Death Kermit. Once that was done with, Mia went in and memorized the fifth melody. Back at the palace, Mia wasted no time and immediately gave Hilda some lip service. On Hilda's lips. The lips of her mouth. And then not on her mouth. You degenerate males and you're thrusting! <sighs> Miss Cat. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, it was pretty hot. <laughs> Before they could finish, they were interrupted by a crash in the corner of the room. Turned out Sophia had been in the room the whole time. Meditating. They hadn't noticed her. She returned to her senses and hid when she realized what was happening. But she bumped into a box when her knees went weak for some reason. <laughs> embarrassing, but at least now Mia was pretty sure Hilda was basically in love with her. Yeah, that's right. That's right. As it should be. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> the sixth fortress was to the southwest. And there, there they found the battle taking place between a giant horde of bandits. A much smaller army. A small army and people Mia recognized, so she went to work with against the bandits. Man, when do I get to recruit bandits? <laughs> they came in multiple waves, but Mia was still very strong and had now had her own army. It wasn't too bad. By the end of it, almost everyone had gotten injured, and Aerith had to use her overpowered healing wind skill to heal everyone. What is that? That's her like limit break thing? <laughs> People that they rescued included Micaiah, Ileana, and another Mia! Oh my god. Some people started calling new Mia, Mia too. Which annoyed her, but only a little. Yo. I love Ileana. This is the Radiant Dawn, Path of Radiance, Telia squad. Ileana, Micaiah is hot. Mia is best character because she's Mia, of course. <laughs> I joined forces and got the sixth melody. <laughs> oh my god. Me and Hilda started doing a couple things like holding hands and going off into an empty room to do more than hold hands. They fucked. <laughs> Miss Cat, where's the secret side story of going into detail of how we fucked? <laughs> oh my god. Where's the line? The line! Only it turned out to once again not be an empty room as they lay on a blanket, snuggled together, and murmuring sweet nothing. Mia started to get a strange feeling. She sat up and saw Ishtar at the, end of the other end of the room. What is this like... <laughs> what is this like being watched kink that Miss Cat has? <laughs> I'm always getting spied on, dude. She sat up and saw Ishtar at the end other end of the room. One hand over her mouth and the other hand somewhere in her dress. Oh my... Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, it's getting steamy in here. <laughs> I 
Ishtar got up and ran out of the room, crying on an apology as she went. Then Dorothea came in, followed by Kagura, and asked if they wanted to practice new melodies. Mia just sighed. <sighs> they fucked. <laughs> The seventh fortress was to the west, and this one seemed completely free. There's no one inside, and then the doors are open. Mia and a few of the named characters still run in to go to the Chamber of the Melody. Along the way, though, Aerith mentions hearing something, and everyone else heard it too. It sounded like a struggle. Mia led the group to a side room in the fortress and opened the door just as Aerith said, Oh, wait! Oh my! Is that a Moogle? That's not what she said. <laughs> Inside the room, Mia was greeted with a view of Lynn and Florina walking together to cut some fabric, only without the tools or fabric. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Holy shit. They paused mid-snip to stare at Mia, who stared right back at them. Goo stare. The sounds of struggle had been oh, them grunting. I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. <laughs> grunting with the effort of what they were doing, which was a little more difficult than one what one would expect. Really gotta be really gotta be precise with where you're applying pressure and put your back into it. Degenerate males. Oh my god, oh my god, everybody loves Lynn, but man, I'm a Florina shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Anyway, they were embarrassed to be caught doing this, and they seemed relieved when Mia only asked them to join her army. Mia then saw that the seventh melody was in the room and got that one too. Only one more, chat. One more melody. Back at the palace, Mia wanted to go straight gay to getting it on with Hilda. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, this cat is unhinged. <laughs> she went to the closet door and opened it, revealing Marianne. Covering her face and blushing, it turned out Hilda wanted to take their relationship to the next level. That is, from the level of two people to the level of three people. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> wait, this is happening? <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, the harem. The harmonious empire. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah, Mia was <laughs> okay with this. True. True. <laughs> A few minutes later, they were uh, really enjoying each other's company and... Pogging. <laughs> I'm pogging. I'm pogging. <laughs> this cat, please. What are you doing? <laughs> and Peggers, why you keep giving me that face? Predictably, someone eventually walked in on them. Oh, by the way, the doors don't lock. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Fortunately, they were already finished. <laughs> Just relaxing. The intruder was Mia, too. Oh, man. She had been looking for the toilet. <laughs> she lingered for a little while before running off. Hilda made a comment about Mia, too, being extra cute. Because she had the same name as Mia. Oh, that's that's the only reason she's cute? Because she has the same name? That makes sense. We're still in Chapter 3, Miss Cat. This is a long story, and I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Pillow talk. Oh. Well. <laughs> uh, good job, Miss Cat. How did you know I was gonna complain that we were still in chapter 3 and then immediately have chapter 4 start? Did you edit this right, like, really fast? You patch your story. Like I said, I'm psychic. 
Finally, it was time for the eighth and final fortress. <laughs> Along the way, they saw some bandits running away, shouting at about a dragon. They then got to the fortress and spoilers, there was a huge divine dragon. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Gold. Jesums. Oh my god, I haven't said Jesums in forever. Jesums. <laughs> furry alert. Indeed, furry dragon. A dragon like I am. Yeah, icy looking mist leaking out of its mouth. Then took a meaningful step forward. Mia didn't flinch. She also took a step forward. Bisque. <laughs> the dragon moved closer and Mia did too. Then the dragon suddenly opened its mouth and expelled a burst of frosty breath. Mia braced herself. <laughs> But then a translucent pinkish barrier suddenly appeared in front of her, deflecting most of the breath. Okay. Chilling breeze. Mia turned to see that Aerith had cast one of her weird spells. Turned out this is a cutscene, not a battle. So Aerith still had agency at this point. <laughs> wow, Aerith, protect me. Protect. Protect. Then the fight began. Hello, Sue him. You have 66666 ribbons. You could be VIP, Mr. Sentinel. Only Mia and Aerith were close enough to reach the dragon this turn, though Milhilda and Marianne made a bit of progress ahead of the others. Mia jumped straight in and attacked the dragon, whose name was given as Question Mark Times Four. Interesting. She then ordered Aerith to cast M Barrier on herself. M barrier. Mia saw the effect from the cutscene and called everyone else a little closer. Dragon then chomped at Mia, but she dodged quickly and punished this, the attack with a sword swing. Is this the final boss? Chomp, chomp. It was a good hit, but the dragon had like four health bars for some reason. One wrong move and the dragon suddenly attacked again, this time with its tail. She crashed into Mia like a garbage truck. Smash! <laughs> oh my god, more earth sounds. It was a critical hit. I'm dead. We had dropped to the ground days of money expletives. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> For losing consciousness. Wow. <laughs> I'm dead. And suddenly woke up feeling rejuvenated. She got up to her feet and saw Rosalina. <laughs> Rosalina? She's not in her biker outfit, Miss Cat. You, you failed. <laughs> Fuck Rosalina. <laughs> Rosalina had revived Mia and now faced the dragon. Rosalina ascended. Then went even further beyond. And use PK Star Storm. <laughs> okay, okay. Calling down thousands of warp st warp stars, <laughs> each with their own Kirby. What the fuck is going on? Blasting it into the dragon in a myriad of rainbow explosions. Holy shit! <laughs> PK Star Storm, warp stars, and Kirby's. What? That didn't happen? Hold on chat, my thingy died. Alright, there we go. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> Mia suddenly woke up feeling rejuvenated. She got back up to her feet and confused and saw that Aerith had just cast a spell. Looking back at the battle log, she saw a message that said, Saying that the ally free will in combat option got turned back on since so she was unconscious. Aerith cast life to revive her. 
Yeah, healing. Mia decided to leave that option on since Aerith seemed to know what she was doing. Rushed in for another s attack. Smash! She got a critical hit. <laughs> the ground shook as Mia struck the dragon with her blade. The dragon roared dramatically. Flung back by the impact, suddenly glowed with a bright light. Then Tiki was there, lying on the ground with her butt up in the air. In Mia's direction, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> Tiki, please. <laughs> Miss Cat, please. Fortunately... <laughs> she was a dull Tiki, so Mia had no calls about saying, Nice butt! Nice butt! Oh my god, Miss Cat. Don't make it so cringe. It's cringier when you say it. <laughs> Kiki shakily got to her feet, turning to look at Mia with a pot and calling her rude. <laughs> Mia apologized for both the comment and the beauty. <laughs> Asked if Tiki wanted to join her instead of fight more. Tiki seemed worried, worry, but she agreed. Turned out she had been fighting off bandits all day and just wanted a break. What was with all the bandits anyway? Mia went in and got the eighth melody without any further incident. Oh wow, chapter four was short. Okay, okay. When chapter five chat. Back at the palace, everyone gathered together in the throne room. Which no one had really used because Sheeta didn't like sitting in the chair. Yeah, Sheeta still considered herself in charge up to this point, but <laughs> now she was changing her mind since Mia had done pretty much everything. That's right, Bisk. She had told Mia that she was stepping down as leader and that Mia now had the honor of playing the eight melodies. Oh man, here we go. Aerith handed Mia a flute and she played. With each melody, the palace shook as if from a magical earthquake. And Mia played the final one. The rumbling rose in intensity before slowly calming down. Then there was a sound like magical gate opening accompanied by a vibrant gash appearing in the air that looked like a rip in the fabric of reality. Everyone went, oh, whoa, and ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a glowing white mist issued out of the cleft. Slowly coalescing around Mia. Do you know what you're going- Do you know what you're going to do? <laughs> um... No. <laughs> I don't want to go back home yet. Everyone seems happy. Well, besides one bus. Huh? Who? Someone who has been this by your side since the beginning. Who has always done what she could to help you. Um... You? <laughs> Not me, <laughs> Rika smacked me on the head. Not me, dunk ass. Miss Cat, please. Look at the flute. Mia looked down at the flute that was writing on it. Mia's flute. Heart. Heart. Hearts in chat. Less than three. Mia stared at the writing and slowly looked up at Aerith. Gave her a small smile. Then the mist reached out and stabbed Aerith in the chest. Oh shit. What the fuck? Someone screamed and Mia cried out as Aerith dropped to the floor. Mia draw drew her sword just as the myth mist took took on the shape of a giant moth. <laughs> Aerith's fucking dead. <laughs> giant moth. Oh, it's the fucking radiance. Oh, God! <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> Mia growled and slashed at it, but her sword went right through it. The radiance through... Open your eyes! <laughs> ...through hundreds of glowing needles at her, each one dealing two masks of damage. Game design. Oh my God. 
Now I have masks for HP again. <laughs> we had kept attacking even though the radiance seemed to be insubstantial. She thought quickly, remembering how she fought the radiance in Hollow Knight. It was a long time ago. She kept getting it confused with a certain boss in Silk Song, which will never be released. Well, that didn't help. In Hollow Knight, she was a little bug dodging the radiance attacks. Here, she was a somewhat less little human with no hope of dodging tiny needles. Wait a second, why was the Radiance throwing out tiny needles when it was so much bigger now? Unless it wasn't bigger. Mia took out the device once more and pressed R3. R3! That's the right stick click, chat. For those of you non-gamers in the chat. <laughs> and she locked onto a tiny, unseeable target inside the Radiance's head. Got you, you fucker. <laughs> she jumped in the air and stabbed the radiance in the head, and suddenly it was gone. It'd just been an illusion. She dropped back to the ground. She saw a little glowing moth impaled on her sword. Rika said that the moth must have somehow absorbed the energy of the eight melodies. Mia looked at it for a moment, then turned to Aerith, who was still on the ground. Tiki, Micaiah, and Dorothea were gathered around Era trying to rouse her. Volarize don't work. Oh, man. Micaiah murmured sadly. The injury belongs to another world, Dorothea said. It's like what happened to Marianne. Oh, no. Aerith is the only one who could heal me, Marianne said. Tiki picked up Aerith's rod. <laughs> But we can't use her magic. <laughs> Mia looked back at the moth on her sword. The moth was disintegrating into the same mist as before, which flowed into me. <sighs> Suddenly she became aware of the power she now had. She could do anything. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it was obvious what she was supposed to do, so she did it. Wow, chapter 6, final chapter. <laughs> Aerith suddenly woke up, feeling and rejuvenated, revived. Sat up and found herself on the bed in one of the rooms in the palace. It looked cleaner than she remembered. Sophia was sitting in a chair near the bed. She looked up at Aerith with a smile. Told her that Mia had revived her. But she then had to rest for a while to recover. Timing on mu music change, yeah. Sophia had added that Mia wanted to talk to Aerith about something serious, so she should go see her if she, wasn't, if she was feeling well enough. Wait, now Aerith is the main character? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Aerith got out of bed, finding that she felt fine. Sophia walked over and gave Aerith a nice hug, then sent her on her way out of the room. As she walked, everyone that Aerith met said something nice or hugged her. Glad to see that she was up and about. Finally, Aerith reached Mia's office. Yeah, she had an office. <laughs> Welcome to my office. <laughs> Mia was sitting on, at a big desk looking at a computer monitor. She changed out of her uniform that resembled what Hilda wore and instead now had a different kind of uniform with a reddish pink jacket. Seemed to shimmer with stars and did her boobs get bigger? <laughs> Miss Cat, no, no, it was, they were just hiding. <laughs> Not that Aerith was staring or anything. Wow. Never mind. Rika was also there, sitting on top of the monitor and almost certainly giving Mia a view of her dress. <laughs> Miss Cat! <laughs> 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 Bruh. <laughs> Mia glanced over at Aerith op op as Aerith opened the door. Aerith, I'm glad you're feeling better. Please come in. <laughs> Aerith closed the door behind her and stood before the desk. Just working on a schedule for wanting to spend some time with everyone. Like, you know, on this day I go flying with Erica and Tana, and on this day I help Tiki and Sophia explore some ruins. That kind of thing. 
Maybe we do other stuff. Who knows? Other stuff. Oh, Aerith said, everyone? Yeah, we beat the thing that stabbed you. She didn't confess her love for me. <laughs> Wait, what? Mia explained. And then everyone else started doing it too. It turned out they wanted to stay here with me more and they wanted to go back to where they came from. Or more than they wanted to go back to where they came from. And while there were more wars and stuff, or where there were more wars and stuff. Oh my god, my reading comprehension is decreasing. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Aaron said. And I was wondering if you'd like to have a day. Whatever you feel like doing, maybe, well... You know. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Mia gave her a meaningful look, and Aerith felt herself blush. Bless you. I'm flattered, but I'm straight. Fuck. Oh, I'm also straight. Hilda's voice suddenly came from under the desk. You are not. <laughs> What the fuck? I totally am. Every time I did it with you and Mia, I said no homo. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Marianne sighed. Well, we don't have to do anything if you don't want. Looking, Mia said, looking a little disappointed. I didn't see that. Aerith said quickly, maybe a little too quickly. I would love to spend more time with you. Oh my. What did you feel like doing? <laughs> Mia asked, standing up. Hilda protests quietly, but Marianne shushed her. What if we make it up as we go? Aerith suggested. Mia walked around the desk, adjusting her skirt for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cat. Aaron didn't care to question at the moment. <laughs> Google grab. Google grab. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Maybe I could change your mind about, you know. Aaron smiled enigmatically. Maybe. Better watch out. Mia told her, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Eric took Mia by the hands. Then it's a date. Wow. And Miss Cat. Miss Cat. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. Do a clap. Do a fap. <laughs> You know, it was great. I love the harem. I mean, the Harmonious Empire. <laughs> it was very sweet. I'm sorry it took me this long to read it. I hope chat enjoyed it. Chat, did you enjoy it? Was it good? <laughs> this is gonna go down in Guwu history as the first... The first Guwu fanfic. <laughs> it was great. And I, I didn't see any typos. I'm impressed. It's almost like you used, you know, spell check or something. <laughs> yes, yeah, <a> canon story. <laughs> very good, very good. Oh, yes. <laughs> I see what your favorite girls from Fire Emblem were. Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Hello? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Very really impressive. Honestly. I am very impressed. It was fun. It was fun reading this. <laughs> yeah, I got squeezed pretty hard, didn't I? Alright, we're gonna... <laughs> Thank you, Miss Cat. Save that for the Goo Archives. It was very good, though. Very good, very good. 
We're gonna, um, <laughs> I guess play play some Pokemon. I, I had I, I had that planned afterwards. But uh, I think first I'm gonna take a small break because I really have to pee. <laughs> so I think it's early break time. Break time, and I'll set up Pokemon. <laughs> So, BRB, stretch break. And then when we come back, well, we'll play some, some of the Pokemon game. I, I gotta tell Waka. Kiwi to eleven dollars and eleven cents. P break woof. Score cheer decks 1000. Thank you, MS Cat, for the literature. <laughs> 